A Singaporean ex-Shen offered first-hand accounts of the Russian invasion of Ukraine to TV viewers during his time living in that country. Now he's ready to tell all in a new book. Tan Suhui hears his story. Of the river. He's a familiar face to Singaporeans, a former actor, and he's now mostly recognized for his live updates to CNA from Kyiv as Russia invaded Ukraine. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I had to go back into the bunker and I had to cut this interview for now. A year on, he's back on home soil with more stories to tell. A lot was going through my mind. How did we survive that? And then after we have survived that, then we, the next question is how do we remain sane surviving that? So writing a book is a, a therapy. It's a way that I can revisit all those experiences and, and all those traumatic moments. And there's an important message he hopes to share. Not to be complacent with peace. I'm in a bunker in Singapore, and I'm not allowed to disclose its location, but Mr. Ikshen wanted the press conference to be held here in a bunker because he wanted the media to get a sense of what it's like to live in one during his time in Ukraine. And as you can tell, there's not much air ventilation, and there's also not much internet connection. And right here, I am in a decontamination room that could be used in a possible event event of a chemical warfare. So Mr. Shen really wants to give this feeling of what it's like to be stripped of basic necessities during an event of war. It's a stark contrast to what everyday life is like for most Singaporeans. This is something that is not only our war. This is something that uh, means to everyone, especially for the younger generation, for young people in Singapore, to understand that there are things that we are used to take for granted, like safety, security. And as the war rages on more than 8,000 kilometers away, the pensive notes that fill the bunker serves as a point and reminder that many are still struggling in their fight for peace.